Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Guys, remember the New World Order book is so important. Also, those who donate to the Cash App, Patreon, much love. And then also those who are shopping at the store, much love to you. And guys, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Now we see Bitcoin maintaining its price and then also maintaining the actual dominance. But we know CME is this tomorrow. And then plus, of course, we have the weekend. So we have, we're going to have the craziest five days we possibly can have. We know, of course, the stock market closes on Friday. But CME is here to, of course, tag Bitcoin, the cash out. So we're going to have a five-day period that's going to be crazy. Don't forget to stay focused on the indicators, XRP, your stable coins, and volume. Now, what's going to be very, very important, guys, that election week is so important, and nobody's going to talk about it, is that we have the Fed meeting on the 4th and the 5th, and we know that's just not by chance. So it's the day right after the election, we have the Fed meeting, and we know the markets are always stable when the Fed is meeting, guys. Always remember that. So we know that right now they're trying to price in. That's the reason why we went down. They're trying to price in. I'm talking about the stock market. That's the reason why they're pricing in the downturn because the algorithms, remember, control everything. It's not a person. It's an algorithm. So the algorithm knows the turbulence. So basically, it pulled us back. So we're not going to take a big hit like everybody thinks for the election. But we know why we're going to take a hit is because of CME. They're going to be cashing out. We have Bloomberg doing an article on Bitcoin rap. Now, guys, we starting to see the mainstream media doing accurate articles on the actual cryptos. At first, everything was illegal. It's negative. It's about crime. Now they're actually starting to do fundamental articles as far as with crypto. So that just lets you know that, of course, the banks have entered. So now they can actually do these articles. And remember, a lot of these articles are done by algorithms also. A lot of people don't know that. Now, basically, we have Coinbase is launching the crypto debit card where you can earn back Bitcoin and XLM, guys. And guys, we know what this is about. Adoption. Adoption, guys. That's what it's about. We have Fidelity. Crypto division expands over into Asia. So, guys, remember I told you the emerging markets are so, so important. And we know this. We know the dollar is going to take a back seat. That's why all of them are running over there. All of them. Now, we have FTX launches fractionalized stock trading. And, guys, just imagine. Remember, we're going to be banking the unbanked. Instead of a small percentage of people being able to buy shares. Now, we're going to have the whole world to can maybe buy ten dollars worth of tesla ten dollars worth of apple and get that percentage when it actually goes up so these big corporations are about to make a lot of money that's the reason why their valuations have went up to trillions of dollars now we have binex exchange partners with simplex to basically do an off-ramp from tether to the euro so basically crypto to cash and we know that's going to be reversed sooner or later but we have Ripple uh, basically invested in Japan's SBI subsidiary. We already know they have a relationship anyway with SBI, Money Tap. But guys, we know SBI invested in Ripple. Now Ripple is investing in subsidiary. So guys, we know this is all a game. This is wash, washing money. That's all. Now we have Avanti launches crypto friendly bank in Wyoming. And guys, I'm going to be doing some research on Wyoming because now... First, we had Kraken. Now, we have Avanti. So, basically, something is going on in Wyoming. Now, we have Australia First. Crypto-friendly IPO will accept Tether, which, of course, Tether is considered a USD. But, guys, the fact is, is that it's called adoption. Everything, guys, and I mean everything, will be tokenized. 
Now we have Sophie clear to launch a national bank in the U.S. So guys, we know fintech banks are about to take over. Your brick and mortars are done. Plain and simple. They're done. Algorithms, fintech is going to take over the banks. And of course, we know about DeFi. Now we have Gemini will give real-time taxes. I thought Coinbase would come out with this first. But, of course, we've been hitting Coinbase so much, so I guess they decided to let Gemini come out with it first. But, yes, real-time taxes, which is basically a good thing if you want to be on point with that. Now, we have Canada Digital Dollar Project moving past the trial stage. Guys, we know everybody, all these countries are going to have their own digital dollar. And then, of course, it'll be linked to whatever the central bank decides to do. And guys, lastly, we have The Economist, and we know The Economist is the Rothschild magazine. It says, what was the point of the office anyway? The death of the office. And guys, we know everything is planned out. We know all the technology that we're using now, Zoom and all that, is almost over 10 years old. And we know what the New World Order believes in. Ten years lets you know whether the product is good or not. That's the one that's going to manifest. Ten. The power of ten, if anybody knows. But yes, guys, the fact is that they already had this technology ready to move in. We know Zoom is what started back in 2011, I think. So definitely it was ready to go. And we see everybody using Zoom. Down to your companies, your schools, everybody. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, NWO book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, then don't forget about the crypto channel, guys. Please, I keep you updated. You have your Cobalt, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. Also, everybody sitting at home, don't forget about the at-home stocks. The C word, the biotech stocks, guys, is still pumping and dumping those. And while everybody is sitting at home, getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day. If you travel through China and go into an office building, you walk up and the employees have the facial recognition. They don't have badges or anything of that sort. Um, they can track their citizens everywhere without worrying about it. Um, for, for China, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, it does cause the rest of the central banks, and I meet with central banks uh, a lot. I just met with one yesterday, as a matter of fact. And it certainly, like Libra, got them thinking more about the retail side. I would say Libra was something of a, a lit a bit of a fire. We, this is something we've been focused on digital currencies for, you know, a couple decades. Digital currencies for, you know, a couple decades. This is something we've been focused on digital currencies for, you know, a couple decades.